Hello YouTube, what is up and welcome to <sighs> I can't believe I'm reading this. <sighs> Bong Shong Dong Ghost. So let's do this. Yeah, see. Bong Shong Dong Ghost. It's a really creepy comic, so let's go. It was at around eleven twenty that night. I was dream I was dragging myself home exhausted after a tiring night study session at school. But there was no one on the street, which I thought was strange. I usually see a lot of people, even at night, since my apartment complex is pretty big. Anyway, feeling scared, I kept looking down on the ground while walking home. Suddenly a shadow stretched towards me, caught my eyes. Although, there wasn't anyone around me. I looked up to see who it was, and saw a woman walking in front of me, but she looked a little strange. I could say she looked crippled. <laughs> she was limping and struggling to walk in front of me. She was crippled. Since she was walking very slow, I soon caught up with her. Up close, I was able to see her even better. She was wearing dirty pink pajamas and looked as if all her joints in her body had been twisted. Worse, her hair was a mess and sticking out to everywhere. It seems so weird that I stopped walking. I felt like I shouldn't get any closer to her, nor did I have the guts to pass by her. Oh my freaking god. Oh, crap. <sighs> crap. Uh, I'm not... I'm going to turn the lights on. Because I'm a sissy. God dang it. How was it? Oh, my. <sighs> you know, people say that if you are really suppressed... You know, screw it. I'm turning the lights off. You know, people say that if you are really surprised, you can't even scream. That was right. I froze there, not being able to move at all. Where is my baby? My thoughts were racing to her question. Oh my god, I don't even know what I was thinking. When I did that, it gave me it gives me chills thinking that moment. Gulp. I answered, pointing as far as I could. Over there. I just wanted her to go away from me. Then she limped towards where I had pointed to, and I couldn't see her anymore. Fearing that I might run into her again, I tried to turn around and leave that apartment complex. I could not think of anything but to get to a place where there could be people around. At that moment, she is not here. Uh, oh my god. I don't remember anything from then on. I heard that my neighbor found me passed out on the ground and took me home. In 2007, at an apartment complex in Boshigan Dong, or Bong Shen Dong, Guanaku, Seoul, a 33-year-old woman jumped off the apartment and died on the spot. Known as Surname Cho, a divorcee due to her extra martial affair, she had lost her custody of her two-year-old daughter and decided to commit suicide. After that innocent, after that incident, Cho was seen walking around that apartment complex several times. After that incident, Cho was seen walking around the apartment several times. Guys, I'm sweating. I'm freaking sweating. 
God, that scared the heck out of me. Peace out, guys. Have a good day. Let's get the. Have a good day.